Hello and welcome to this video abstract. My name is Bhavya Arshah, MD, and I am the senior author on this open access article published in Brain Communications titled Four Tract Tractography for MR Guided High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. Transcranial High Intensity Focused Ultrasound is FDA approved for essential tremor, tremor dominant Parkinson's disease, and bradykinesia and rigidity in the setting of Parkinson's disease. Everyone will recognize the MRI scanner in the background. On the scanner bed, there is a helmet that contains 1,024 phased array ultrasound transducers. Each ultrasound element can be focused across the skull onto a single point in the brain. That point is the focal point where maximal energy deposition takes place. The thermal dose can be measured using magnetic resonance phase shift imaging. Historically, the target has been the ventral intermediate nucleus of the thalamus. But because it cannot be visualized on standard MRI sequences, indirect targeting approaches have been used. It has also been shown that the proximity of a DBS lead to the dentato rubrothalamic tract positively correlated with tremor response. But how tractography is used to identify the DRTT and what components of the DRTT are identified and how well they correspond to the actual anatomic DRTT was unclear. So we developed a method in FDA-approved software to identify four white matter tracts. The corticospinal tract and medial lemniscus are identified so they can be avoided, and the decussating and non-decussating components of the dentatorubrothalamic tract are identified to be targeted. On these coronal F-gator images, the arrows are pointing to a hypo-intense band that extends from the red nucleus to the corticospinal tract that is the dentato rubrothalamic tract. We can overlay our tractography on these structural images to verify that the tract information is accurate. I compare the indirect target with a tractography-based target on every case I do. The first image shows the indirect target of the ACPC plane. Notice that the medial lemniscus and corticospinal tract are at risk. Because the focus ultrasound lesion is shaped like a football, it was thought that it would be better to move the indirect target to 2 millimeters above ACPC to avoid damaging structures below the ACPC plane. That second image is the indirect target 2 millimeters above the ACPC plane. Notice that the medial lemniscus is still at risk and the lesion remains proximal to the corticospinal tract and internal capsule. Panel C shows the tractography-based target. Our cadaveric work showed us that the non-decussating dentato rubrothalamic tract inserts into the VIM and the decussating dentato rubrothalamic tract has two arms. The more posterior arm inserts into the VIM, but the more anterior arm inserts into the VOP. Therefore, we target the posterior confluence of the decussating and non-decussating dentato rubrothalamic tract. Notice that the tractography-based target is generally more anterior in medial than the indirect target. However, this is not always true. Sometimes the tractography-based target is more posterior or more lateral to the indirect target. This is an interoperative image demonstrating real-time ablation of the dentato rubrothalamic tract white outlined while avoiding the corticospinal tract and medial lemniscus. Postoperative images demonstrate the focused ultrasound lesion centered in the dentato rubrothalamic tract while avoiding the corticospinal tract. To study the outcome of four-tract tractography, we evaluated tremor in 18 patients at three months using Archimedes spirals. Three months is a good indicator of how well the person will do at a year because at that point, all of the edema has resolved. At three months, we had an average tremor reduction of 81% based on ratings of the Archimedes spirals. Only three of our patients reported subjective imbalance without other side effects. This subjective imbalance resolved by one month and was not identified as ataxia by the movement disorder neurologist using the Sarah scale. This is a graphical abstract showing pertinent targeting considerations when employing for tract tractography. Thank you.